And Pope Francis recognized this week a miracle attributed to the intercession of blessed Titus Bransma, quickening his march toward official sainthood. Martina Moiski tells more about this Dutch Carmelite friar killed by the Nazis in 1942 for raising his voice against their evil crimes. Even after the Blitzkrieg of the Netherlands, Catholic clergy continued to resist Nazi occupation. One who resisted, now moving up the canonization ladder, is Carmelite friar Titus Bransma, murdered in the Dachau concentration camp for speaking truth to Nazi power. Bransma spent his priestly life speaking against the Nazi juggernaut. He said, we must not forget that the Nazi movement is a black lie. It is pagan. For such remarks, the Nazis called him the dangerous little friar. And the Catholic bishops, you know, that they they should emulate Bransma in um, in refusing to um, uh, serve as mouthpiece for, for the totalitarianism today. Our Catholic principles are at conflict with their principles, he said. For this confession, I joyfully suffer what is to be suffered. Bransma began his stairway to heaven on a dairy farm in northern Holland to a devout Catholic family. Five of the six children entered religious life, himself announcing at age 11 his intention to become a priest. He offered his first mass at age 24, near the place he was born. First priest, then journalist, professor, and university administrator, each step bringing him to the next in his defense of the truth. You know, just as he stood up to the totalitarians of his day, today's journalists, you know, have a duty to stand up to the to these new totalitarians who are um, pushing a culture of death. His final and fatal step, however, was exhorting Catholic journalists to reject Nazi propaganda, which landed him now political prisoner number 58 in Dachau, where he died by lethal injection. Before his death, he offered mass in secret and ministered to fellow inmates, urging them to pray for their oppressors, counsel they had a hard time following. Once he protected the sacred host by clutching it in his hand while he was beaten almost to death. We are here in a dark tunnel, but we have to go on. At the end, the eternal light is shining for us, he said. Faithful Catholics are now asking why so many U.S. bishops are silent in the face of the new paganism, while Bransma paid in blood to protect the faith. Martina Moiski, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. In 1936, the Dutch bishops announced the Holy Sacraments would be denied to those supporting the Nazi party, in effect saying, you can't be Catholic and vote for the Nazi party.